Next week, KSAT and the AARP are going to hold an event to discuss the future of Social Security. And we just have to remind you, this isn't just a program for older Americans. Yeah, more than a million widows, children, and disabled people in Texas depend on... Since I retire, I'll have three sources, three main sources, and, and that one of them is to be Social Security. I do have, you know, my grandma that's still alive, you know, today, and it's just you know, making sure they're in the best position possible. And so she gets Social Security. She does. 100% disabled from the, from the accident. So no, I wouldn't make it without Social Security. All three people you just met live with different challenges and all depend on Social Security, whether it's for themselves or for their loved ones. The program gives them peace of mind, something to count on when there are so many unknowns. I am relying on that as part of our um, financial future. In Texas alone, the AARP estimates more than four and a half million people receive Social Security benefits. Most are retirees, each receiving an average of just under $1,800 a month. Disabled workers in Texas get less, averaging about $1,500. According to Zillow, San Antonio's median monthly rent is just over $1,700. So although Social Security benefits aren't hefty, they do help people pay for some housing and food. But what if the benefits are reduced? That's going to put me in a spot. Trustees with Social Security say without congressional action, benefits will get cut by 17% by 2035. That scares Deborah Jones, who will fully rely on Social Security once she retires. Food keeps going up, everything keeps going up. So, I mean, even now when I cook, I, I, I'm very frugal. Yeah, what she said just hit. So many people have the same story, but this is where you come in. Next Wednesday, June 5th, KSAT and the AARP are going to host a forum to discuss the future of Social Security. And you know what? We'd like you to be there. It's happening from 11 to 1 at Stable Hall, which is at the Pearl. And you see that QR code all the way to your right? We want you to scan it because that's going to take you to a website where you can register and get free tickets to attend. Now, I'm going to be moderating that discussion along with three other people who understand what's really at stake for Texans. And we're going to discuss how you can keep Social Security strong. We hope to see you there.